Okay, so deep breath, everybody. Um, <gasps> okay. Hey, you. Welcome back to Kadar FM. Uh, this episode, as always, is sponsored by our patrons. People like Paulo Carmelo, Ian Kicklighter, Chelsea Currington, Anna and Voltaire. Thanks very much for your support. Our patrons back at it with the very cool names. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, th- just a heads up that this episode uh, is fueled by uh, two litres of coffee and three cans of energy drink. So and very <laughs> minimal sleep. Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah. Place your bets as to who is who is full of beans right now and sleep deprivation. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is the manic. <laughs> oh, it's gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna get to the second recording today, and I'm gonna crash, and then I'm gonna have another coffee, and then I might kill Ollie. <laughs> I like that that's the ending. That's uh I mean just like literally just before we started recording this, Alex said, Oh, I'm full of beans and my ears are hot. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> so you know <laughs> If that if that's a it's a good summarizer for this morning. Me and the ladies at eleven AM looking for beans. Oh god, wait. <laughs> I drank all my beans. Amy, what did you just call ears? Oh organic aerials. <laughs> organic aerials, no. You with your organic <laughs> stuff every time. I don't like I it. I can't help it. I'm all about that natural remedies. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like that's natural crimes to describe ears as organic aerials. That ain't remedying sh- like anything. <laughs> Jenny's already dead. Good morning, everyone. It's not even that early anymore, but we've all been a... We've been awake since the early. <laughs> we, we woke up the night owls this morning. I'm fine. I'm always awake early. But uh, the, the rest of you, you needed some juice to get you going. I fucking, I was so sleep deprived this morning that reaching over to my phone, my hand was shaking so bad. <laughs> I would like to, in my defense, say I did try because like I know I normally sleep, uh, I normally get to sleep at like 3 a.m. That's my usual bedtime. But then I don't have to do things in the morning. I'll wake up at midday and it's fine. My day, I have a normal amount of sleep just at weird hours. I knew I had to be up this morning. So last night I was like, I'm going to go to bed at least an hour earlier. I'm going to try. <laughs> but... But I got scuppered, right? Because there was... A, this is where you can tell that I've had energy drink this morning because my <laughs> mouth is going, right? But there's a point. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but like I was trying to go to sleep at like a, a not reasonable but better time than I usually would last night but for some reason there was a bunch of lads in my neighborhood just no. shouting at 3 a.m oh. and I don't know why I don't know who they were got in one little fight they started, they started making trouble in your neighborhood <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly yeah I, I, I was about to honestly I the thing is they started shouting at 3am. I was like, no, I'm entering hell, please. I just want to sleep. But I remember I like rolled over and I reached uh, for my phone and I made a note of it because I don't know why, but like I haven't read it since last night. It's okay. So it says 3am. Some lads are shouting their way around my neighborhood. Bruv in quotes. Uh, and then the next line just says, I want to lean out of my window and either scream or play a pterodactyl sound on my phone to scare them off. But I am too <laughs> tired to sit up. And then I think I went to sleep. <laughs> Imagine if you were one of those dudes at 3 a.m. down a back alley and then you hear someone open a window and a pterodactyl screams. Exactly. I was like, yo, I, I could be the hero here or or another public menace. Like, you'd probably leave the alley. Man, there, there, there's like layers and layers and layers here, okay? Like, first, let's, <laughs> let's break down um, how Alex, uh, <laughs> you can tell, like, it, it, Alex is manic because, like, he, he uses words like scarpered and scuppered. But like at three thousand miles an hour, <laughs> and then he's like, "I'm the fresh prince of Brighton," and then, <laughs> and then he's like, "I'm just gonna lean out of a window and just scream at some some men." This is you. You're seeing like a live display of what it's like to combine ADHD, energy drink, and no sleep. This is I'm, I'm a walking museum the exhibit. Ultimate combo. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from the sleep deprivation, how are we all doing? Um, so not last night, but the night before there was like a torrential shower and I was like scared awake and I was, but like, I was conscious, but unconscious. So I like 
panic ran to my light my, my light i switched my light on and then i like panic ran to the plug that was on the like the window wall and i was like <laughs> my room's flooding i need to unplug the electrics <laughs> <laughs> so i did that and just went back to sleep <laughs> wow Oh God! Were you, were, you, were you just having like a, a waking dream of being essentially in the middle of Alice in Wonderland, where the room is just so full weird. of water? <laughs> it was so weird. I can't remember what I dreamed about last night. I just woke up shaky. When when you're when you're asleep or like when you're like half asleep, it's super easy to convince yourself that the world is ending, right? Like mm-hmm. we live it like pretty much in the not in the center of town, but like in a in a pretty busy area of this town, and like there's a train station not that far from us, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so like when I at three a.m. I hear like a bang, like that could be a car backfiring, it could be um like somebody dropping something, right? Because people are up all hours. But my brain is like I have to register what time it is so that when the police come round to tell ask me if I know anything about the bombing I just oh heard, my God, I, I do can the same give thing. them I, exact I, and specific details. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say I made notes because I'm not a note taker, but I did hear a couple of explosions the other night. I don't know what they were, but I heard yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me I too. Was fucking, I was like laid in bed. I was like, what the fuck is happening? I was yeah, like, I was what? like, that's not thunder. Like in the distance. Having a heart attack yeah. in bed, but like in that sort of like sleep paralysis way where I have, like my anxiety is at a thousand, but also my body is at minus two. So I can't really <laughs> do anything. And, <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> lying there like a log like uh, we're gonna die is it getting closer are the bombings coming towards me <laughs> physically you're like a brick but then your anxiety is just like you want to see some real speed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i yeah. feel that like mm-hmm. i googled i googled worthing explosions um <laughs> like frantically whilst like looking oh, for dear. like you know has anybody in the neighborhood heard anything like i'm back on facebook for the first time in three thousand years looking <laughs> yeah. for like you know those the stupid worthy volcano erupts that's like the go-to thing though isn't it like you'll go on if you see something amiss or if you hear something weird like i don't know if you do the same kind of but it's like i just sort of hop on twitter and check like local hashtags like hey uh, <laughs> is this in the not in the news yet? I think you you can do that though, Alex, because you live like in a city. So if stuff's going on, someone's probably there talking about it. Whereas like the rest of us live in a a small enough town. Yeah, I suppose the Rygate mm. Twitter scene isn't quite it's, it's <laughs> like extraordinary to me that like during you know like the waking hours, like if the sun is up, then our like middle class neighbors are like outside hammering things uh screaming at their kids uh, yeah. their cars mm-hmm. and their vans are idling in the street outside they're like they're making their dogs bark at each other right like, mm-hmm. they're just doing the most loud shit all of the time but when i'm in the middle of a panic attack about there being explosions that i can hear in the town everybody is silent not a single word no one cares yeah no (laughs) well to be fair in worthing everyone is over the age of 60 so like i don't think the majority of the populace has twitter or news outlet online sort of things yeah i was gonna say like (laughs) both of the places that we're from like we don't even they're all middle class posh rich old people conservative no one's got twitter nothing against uh people who are old and off offline i'm sure you know have a lovely day but also get with the news Keep us posted on explosions, please. <laughs> Vote green. Mm. Man, so now that we've um, uh, shouted about where we live... Got, so got some of the mania out. <laughs> yeah. Um, some of it. This would be a good time to tell you that uh, we have a P.O. box that you can um, oh, damn, send yeah. us stuff to if you want to. Uh, let me just pull up the uh, address. <laughs> yeah, this, um, is, this segues nicely from from Twitter and, and energy drink screaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because we shouted about... Um, uh, where we live so oh yeah uh, now i can tell you that we have a p.o box in, in this town um which by the way because of uh covid19 the delivery office is only open between the hours of seven and nine <laughs> i don't usually get up until nine so when i had to get up at before that to go to the delivery office um to empty an empty PO box. Uh, I was pretty miffed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like we have to go. I have to go um, at least once a month, otherwise they'll take away 
the PO box from us and uh, having paid quite a lot of money for it, I would like to still have it. Mm. But the... Um, but the effort. The effort, <laughs> right? Because, like, the woman behind the counter doesn't want to talk to me. I don't want to be awake. Like, yeah. you know, like, collectively we're having a bad time. Mm. And uh, she comes back around the corner from having looked into the empty PO box and she's like, nothing this time, dearie. And I'm like, great. Thank you. I'll just go home again then, I guess. I'll I just leave empty handed. Uh. Like, I, not that I expect people to send us things, by the way. This is just me oh, griping. Yeah, no, no, but no. It, like, just... if it had been at 3 p.m. and mm. I had gone into town and the PO box was empty, that's fine. Just when you go in the morning, it, it hits different. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. When I am in the post office before the postmen have left to do their rounds, that's an issue. Um, We've been in the post office a lot recently. Yeah, we have. Collectively. Our P.O. Box address, by the way, is the Shrieking Wizard Co. P.O. Box 5196 Worthing BN11 9BJ. I'll put that in the description to this video. Jenny, the whole time you were reading that, I had the Postman Pat theme playing in my head. (laughs) 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 It just completely, like, phased out and I just, like, had flashbacks to (laughs) Postman Pat. I think me and Alex both, like, simultaneously faded away after the mania. (laughs) I'm still kind of in it. I um I think in uh so coming up soon on Patreon or it has already gone out or coming up soon on YouTube or it has already gone out. Me and Ollie did the uh um behind the scenes discussion for the music for chapter two or it was is in chapter ones. I don't know, but at some point in time, I have definitely sung to the tune of Postman Pat um early in the morning. Just as Bay Hollow's burning. Oh no! <laughs> wow. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So was. insensitive. Yeah, no, I remember yep. listening to that last night. Actually, I watched it oh, back. Oh, okay. <laughs> it must be in chapter one then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. My water bottle now has a scrunchie on it. Oh, fashion! She's so beautiful. It's couture. She is a queen. Also, my water bottle has been chewed because I'm an animal. Ah. <laughs> I thought Carry you were going to say by a mysterious animal, like there was some kind of mystery to be solved, but no, no, it's maybe the it, real animal was the friends we made along the way. Well, oh. if I murder someone, you have my dental imprints. <laughs> I don't. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, I'll bite someone today. I was going to say, were you planning to commit the murder with your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you need? I mean, I've got some chompers, so why not? Oh, speaking of murder, you've been listening to some horrendous <laughs> podcasts late at night when we've been telling you to stop doing that because it makes you scared. <laughs> Speaking of murder. It's not podcasts, it's a series. I've been watching The Fall, which is incredible, but also don't watch it if you're not 18. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or if you don't, just be, be responsible. It's scary shit, man. I, I like how um, we have like demonstrated for the past 10 minutes or whatever that we're like manic and uh, anxiety ridden and we yeah. like, you know, confused, but also... It, it just gotta watch that true crime shit. It's <laughs> so good. Just gotta make it worse. Just gotta fuel the stress. <laughs> yes. It's the last ingredient in the cocktail that is. Uh, <laughs> just our mania, yeah. Like when we're watching regular TV shows, uh, people have to warn me. They're like, oh, I think I thought I've seen this one before and something a bit gruesome is about to come up. Beth, quick, put your fingers in your ears and turn around. Like anything. <laughs> so, you know, I would not. Mm. Big I think. I have a weird <laughs> distinction with like horror and crime stuff. Like the only true crime thing I'll listen to is uh, BuzzFeed Unsolved because that makes it goofy and it's fine. But then <laughs> oh. uh, any any other kind of seriously framed true crime stuff, I'm like, this is scary. This is real. No likey. Please go away. Um, but then I will listen the hell out of like creepypasta readings and like story, like scary story readings. But they're objectively way worse because they're designed to be terrifying <laughs> and specifically scare you. <laughs> Creepypasta is okay, though, because a lot of it isn't real, right? I don't know if that makes it better, because the human imagination is a terrifying thing. Mm. But, like, true crime actually just... It's like, these people are real, um, they exist, and that scares me. Yeah, that's terrifying. It's all terrifying. And then, and sometimes you learn of a story where, like, you know, some guy lived in someone's attic for two years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hate those. You know, and then and then you can never go in your attic ever again, so... The Spider-Man of Denver. 
<laughs> Mate, I don't even have an attic. I live in a flat, but that's that shit like still terrifies me. <laughs> I literally like hear noises like in the attic, it's probably just like air or something. I'm like, that's it. I'm gonna fucking open my door and some weird dude's gonna be chatting his teeth at me. And I'm like, Ugh. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> can you just look? That thought specifically is very bad. <laughs> Chattery I'm teeth. I'm not. Look, sir, I, I value my life and I'm not going to ask you to leave, but please just like, you know, respect my boundaries. You Could know? you chatter quietly? Thank you. I'll just <laughs> close the door again. Amy, you saying I value my life just made me think of like, I value my life. The only one who's allowed to mess it up is me by drinking a liter of coffee in one evening. <laughs> <laughs> Get those liquid beans. <laughs> Man, um, they so me and Amy both listen to my favorite murder, oh, which is too. the podcast yes, by man. oh you do too. Yeah, so good. Um, that makes me by so happy. Karen Kilgareth and uh, Georgia Hardstark. Very, re- very recommend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good English. Um, at some point, Karen says that like her and her sister agreed that the scariest thing actually is somebody talking like like answering the phone and then somebody talking like faster than they should like I don't know, I don't know, right, right like that like that that <laughs> shit fucks me up so bad I mean, like the way i talk normally <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking us up alex i'm very scary <laughs> yeah you're like soft autumn demeanor is actually hiding the the true demon that you are inside <laughs> true pterodactyl boy I'm, I'm a halloweeny <laughs> oh we're coming into autumn now it's your season alex it is i'm going to be at my most powerful <laughs> <laughs> and on a, in like halloween is when your true form is revealed <laughs> i'm gonna munch i'm gonna crunch a pumpkin <laughs> yeah i just turn into a gourd <laughs> i was gonna say uh pterodactyl beaver um, but sorry okay. pterodactyl beaver yeah. i have several questions <laughs> I don't know why beaver it just came to mind you know I ju- well if that's what I remind you of with my <laughs> buck teeth and fur uh... <laughs> buck teeth. All right, I mean, no I'll take it I'll be a beaver what about it <laughs> I just imagine like a pterodactyl face with like two buck teeth at the end of it <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what else you'd imagine for a pterodactyl beaver. There's got to be some traits crossed between. <laughs> the question is which. It's just a regular pterodactyl, but he will not stop eating trees. Mm. He loves that wood. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that really dumb drawing you did of me like a thousand years ago. I'm like a chibi, but I'm a raccoon. <laughs> I look really angry. Oh my god, which one's that? <laughs> Jenny's got it archived somewhere. I do. I, oh, of course. Yeah, I do. <laughs> All of the dumb doodles that y'all eat into the chat like i secretly squirrel away for ammunition for a later date i love the fact that you do that jenny because every time you pull them back up it feels like having it like stuck to the fridge (laughs) (laughs) it's so nice (laughs) i'm thinking about when you do uh jenny and ollie and they're singing at you and you look afraid (laughs) (laughs) yeah oh god okay so for context uh me and ollie do this thing uh as a ritual on uh, Alex's birthday. Oh, don't, because now now the whole internet's going to do it. <laughs> at Christmas and at New Year's, where you sing whatever song to the tune of... Happy Birthday or whatever. But... Yeah, it's so, like it's Alex, but to the tune of Happy Birthday, so you go, Alex, 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 <laughs> and we send it to him. <laughs> or I ring him, and then we do it over the phone. And <laughs> you know the first time you did that on new year's uh i was with one of my friends and i had to explain what was happening <laughs> that was probably the best time you did it because i was just like okay i don't have context for this either but i assume <laughs> Let me, i guess we'll try and work this out together <laughs> we've got a mystery to solve here my favorite part of that audio is ollie at the beginning going <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, he, like, geared up. my throat you know what i honestly don't know why why (laughs) i don't know why it's just it's just something we do well it's it's like um you know the way you torment me on a daily basis you just find a bit of ammunition and then you just use it excuse me (laughs) you're excused what is this (laughs) i do not torment you i said something earlier while i was in the other room i called ollie a thing and then i heard jenny go Amy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's because we both said it. <laughs> like, we're talking about file formats, and Ollie goes, Yeah, you can save it as a WAV. And we both went at the same time, You're a WAV. <laughs> but in different rooms. <laughs> You're so in sync. 
Oh man, that's a serious problem that we all have, and we now cannot stop. It's we're too far <laughs> yeah. in. Oh I just yeah, can't stop it. <laughs> My sister gets so mad when I do it to her. She's like, "Could you just <laughs> not?" And I'm like, "No, I literally can't no, stop." No. My sister just <laughs> doesn't <laughs> understand it. <laughs> I called her a handbrake the other day and she was like, what? Like, I literally can't not do it, though. I, it just comes out and then I'm like, sorry, it was a bit rude, that one. Exactly. Uh, Every now and then, like, you'll just catch it like, you're a, oh, no, I can't say that one. That's too far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. I've accidentally called Jenny a waste of space and I looked, at, we like both <laughs> yeah. looked at yeah. each other and we were like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> the boundary has been crossed. <laughs> But also, that Amy, there's this other layer where you'll say, you know, you're a whatever to me. And then I'll be like, excuse me. And you'll be like, that was a bad word, wasn't it? And I was like, yes. Would you like me to define it for you? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was the wrong word, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, or like, um, I'll say something and then like one, you or Ollie will be like, you're a thing. And then all of a sudden I'll pull like your mum card. I'll do the your mum card. <laughs> and then you're like, I'm going to tell my mum that. And I'm like, do it. <laughs> I I remember the thing that I had to explain to you was um I I said oh I wouldn't rate it and you're like, well I wouldn't rate you and I was like excuse me <laughs> and you're like I don't understand what I've said <laughs> I was like is that a bad thing <laughs> we all love each other here at the shrieking was we really do we're just a mess <laughs> me and Jenny are so aggressive to each other that sounds terrible when I say aggressive I mean we just don't leave each other alone we exist in like that constant state of of play fighting like, exactly we would be like nightmare pets because like we constantly be like ah at each <laughs> other because that's kind of what we are i was gonna say life. it's kind of probably made itself evident through the course of all of the content we put on this channel how much you guys just yes. rip each other mercilessly <laughs> and that's kind of the vibe you know <laughs> i haven't done it in a long time but my favorite thing to do is to run into your room really fast with no explanation <laughs> Yeah, it's it's upsetting. Like a cannonball <laughs> of chaos. You just hear this boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah. We also like uh like I say when I say physically aggressive, I don't mean like I hit you or whatever, but like it, it, we we exist in each other's space in ways that uh, upset the other person. So like I'll stand just in like the corner of your vision and I'll dance really aggressively <laughs> at you. It kind of reminds me of that bit in like Night at the Museum Two where he's like, "Don't cross this line with your hand," <laughs> and you just will. Or like we're like really angrily flip each other off from opposite sides of the room. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> Ollie's sat in between us. He's like not looking at either of us and he's like slowly putting on his headphones. <laughs> Canceling us out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just had another sip of energy drink and I think mayhaps I should not have. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and he's going back again. <laughs> Woo! It's like that uh, that bit in Futurama where Fry has like a thousand cups of coffee and you just you just hit that last that last one. Mm. You're just gonna go through time and space now. I'm absolutely it, buzzing. He vibrates out of out of the window. Absolutely buzzing. <laughs> what was that accent? That was amazing. I'm absolutely buzzing. Hi everyone, welcome to the Shrieking Wizard podcast where we talk absolute bullshit for t- like 45. Oh, minutes. but that's my favorite. <laughs> that's my, that's my favorite. favorite when we do that. I love it. <laughs> I quite enjoy it. When we started this, we like took questions and stuff. There was structure. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, <What> happened. <laughs> Today is not a day for structure. It is a day for. It's called life inside a pandemic, and we haven't seen the sun for a long time, and that's not true. We saw far too much sun, and it was the <laughs> <Yeah>. worst. <laughs> it was absolutely the worst. We got baked. It was like 35 degrees in my flat. Mm, oh. That was hideous. Inside of it. It was the worst. That was miserable. My favourite thing about um, the end of that, though, was uh, all of us, because we live in like different parts of the country, like um, all of us sitting on chat together, like essentially reporting their storm as it rolled yeah. south yeah. towards us. I was going to say, it's probably the most British any of us have ever been. It was like a straight week of us just <laughs> talking about nothing but the weather. <laughs> <laughs> it was too hot and then there was thunderstorms, yeah. but it was great. And now that the heat wave's gone, we we reminisce. <laughs> I know, Liam got all the thunderstorms and I'm really... Yeah, pissed. over we in got, Wales. We got sod. like five seconds of thunderstorm and I was like, e- what? Yeah, we've had a lot of rain, but that's it. I, I, I heard maybe... Two thunderclaps. 
Man, when it fi- when it finally started raining here, me, Amy, and Ollie went out onto our porch, if you can call it that, <laughs> and we just stood outside with our faces up to the sky, like just standing in the rain, like ah uh, yes, like a music finally. video, yeah, <laughs> feel the rain on your yeah. skin, <laughs> and it, and it was like it was like twelve a.m. like it was midnight. I mean, if anybody had looked out of their windows, we would have looked like insane cultists. <laughs> and then I saw a cat and I got very excited. Oh, yeah, then it was like, cat! And all three of us were like, cat, 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 cat. <laughs> Grabby hands. <laughs> yeah. That's wholesome. I think, it's, I think it's still raining right now. It is. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. raining. Yeah, it is, yes, oh, yeah. Man, I am so excited for autumn. I am so jazzed. Oh, yeah, I? boy. My favourite thing about autumn is when we all go to Brighton and then we're like all like like layered up in coats and then we just like go around all the vintage shops obviously we probably can't do that this year but man that's a good I know. time i i want to do another like wizards go to london yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the first time we did wizards in london we were not officially wizards we, we didn't well it didn't even exist you're dressed like wizards yeah we weren't like the shrieking wizards but we did call ourselves wizards <laughs> so you know yeah we're probably not gonna do that for a while because you know london is a disease hole oh yeah. <laughs> a disease hole <laughs> We don't go to the disease hole. <laughs> That's a hell of a descriptor. <laughs> Let's not go to the epicenter. The Chancellor of the Exchequer would like us to return to central London, though. Of course he would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you know, maybe, 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 I don't know. I don't really Stupid feel like man. taking advice from the government. Stupid. Mm. No. <laughs> I think Stay at home. Not, you know, like, the closer we get into winter, the more you get, like, the common cold and the regular flu, and people are going to be sneezing anyway, and I don't yeah. need that. Mm. I mean, I sneeze all the time anyway, because I'm, like, broken, but... Oh, man. <laughs> you just glitch out. All the time. I never stop sneezing. It's a problem of mine. Do you guys? Because I I, I know that, like, the reaction to uh, my sneezes generally is, like, oh, baby, but because uh, I sneeze <laughs> like a kitten. But, like, do... do I, I can't actually remember the way that all of you guys sneeze. This is maybe a weird topic, but, like... Sometimes people sneeze in very specific and quite entertaining ways. And I can't remember who among our group is in that category. Matt fucking sneezes. Like Bill and Matt sneeze. He he just screams. Like they just open their mouth <laughs> and they just scream and there's no build up <laughs> and then there's just a scream and I hate it. Like they just they just scream and then all of a sudden they've teleported somewhere and it's like <laughs> it's like boys. It's the worst. And they sneeze, scream. And then everyone else in the room goes, Bleh! and they're like, what? What do you mean? I just I just sneezed. And I'm like, we all hate you now. Please, <laughs> yeah, go please take responsibility for the noise coming out of your face. Jazz is a little bit of a scream sneezer. Like sometimes she'll like scream sneeze in my presence and I'll like want to punch her in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. But she's so small though that even her, I mean like, you know, they're not nearly as aggressive as Matt fully screaming just right next to my head. <laughs> there was no need for that because we all know that matt is like a powerful screamer anyway he doesn't feel like sneezed himself off of a chair before. <laughs> i'm certain yeah that would not surprise me <laughs> oh god oh god the incident with the spider last night well this is oh not about god. sneezing oh but Jesus. <laughs> Christ. there was like there was a big spider in our house right like the size of like if you put your finger and your thumb together and you make a circle right like Ugh. he was like he was a big boy but he wasn't just big he was fast like he was mm. so fast he <laughs> a was... long leggy boy i just uh, i left the room right i was like that's not my problem goodbye um <laughs> but both matt and phil were like no we can do this we can get it and they were like chasing it around the living room with a cup for like i don't know 20 minutes oh, damn God. i didn't know it was that long because didn't you say on messenger like because i know phil was chasing it for the full time but matt kind of tapped out yeah no he saw like th- they both went to get a cup and then you know phil was in there and matt was like no he's got this i don't he sort of he watched it dart really quickly and matt was like it's fine you've got this phil goodbye (laughs) good luck philip the thing is every time you describe it i kind of imagine phil like really fast but like just crab walking around your flat like half crouch (laughs) with his hands up with a cap yeah yeah basically (laughs) oh phil phil has like such like he has like a really big stunt man energy right where Mm. he he he, like gets into that like manic body movement really quickly (laughs) um and so like i could not think about him trying to because you know we were saying (laughs) oh well he basically is part spider that's like how he moves um of him like climbing up the walls onto the ceiling and then like trying to drop the cat or like you know like catching the spider with his mouth yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. like like a gecko like 
the, the creature that he is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And Amy was saying, go on, send Boo in, get Boo together. And I was like, she's laying on the sofa watching it. <laughs> she <laughs> doesn't give a single <laughs> shit. She doesn't care. Real, real Garfield energy there from, from yeah. the house cat. <laughs> she's a retired old lady. Yes, she's do. doing the say. She's like a pampered lady now. She doesn't do work. Mm. No. Yeah, she is a we duchess. We looked up how old she would be in human years last night, and it's like 78 or something. Yeah, you can't ask a 78-year-old lady to chase spiders. She's retired. She's not going anywhere. One time I had a spider on my ceiling in my old house, and I the only thing I had to hand to get it <laughs> Was a Lucasade bottle, like a Lucasade oh, God, I remember this. And then I was like, I can do this. And I like yeah. lifted the bottle up and I was like, this is great. This is fine. And then the spider was like, fuck you, bitch. And it like launched itself at me. And then I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I got out of that very quick. Your old house was always full of spiders. It was just all the time. I remember there was like one spider and I'm pretty sure it was dead, like on, on a lamp that was there for like, I don't know, a year. And it Every time we came light. back, I'm like, look, he's still there. <laughs> it was more of a decoration at, this, <laughs> at a certain point. It's because I'm lazy. It's because I, like, I was living alone. I couldn't be bothered. I really want to see like an artist recreation of your LucasAid story. <laughs> <laughs> Just... You know those videos where like you'll see like the the box around something in the arts art program as somebody moves it around the page and they're like filming the screen, mm-hmm. <laughs> and so the, the asset just like flies wildly around the place. <laughs> <laughs> was it a big spider? No, like, like it looked like it would could it fit. fit? Yeah, I wouldn't have right. done it. Okay. <laughs> like, it would have if only Amy had aim. Um. <laughs> but it's just like I like. I did. I literally. It was directly above my head, and I was holding like the bottom of the bottle with my my clawed hand, and I was like, <laughs> and then the spider was like, nah. <laughs> no, you do not have me. I will not be had. I also have like a series of videos on my phone of where a spider like crawls up from behind my desk, really close to me, and then the saga of videos is me following the spider around my room, screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it was so big. It was oh man. Didn't you? You sent a video to the chat the other night, and it was from you were like laying in bed it was from your perspective and it was just zoomed in <laughs> on your tv screen and there was a beetle crawling across it and you were like it i've got a friend <laughs> it was a ladybug. ladybug came into my room you oh, were like he's watching the tv with me <laughs> yeah no he was like watching true crime with me but i i put him outside because i knew what was going to happen right i was going to turn my tv off and i was going to roll over and sit on tiktok for three hours and then i like i was like i know what's going to happen my phone's the only light source and what tends to happen is every single bug in the vicinity mm-hmm. is like hey bitch yeah <laughs> right in your face oh it's i'm ugh. all right with moths but beetles nah they're like nah or th- also, there's like a real difference between like, hey, there's a moth in this room, and then oh, there's a moth in my eye. Yeah, mm. like it's just sort of buzzing <laughs> right in your face. I tend to be f- like fine with moths. Beetles are okay as long as they can't fly, because then they're like a moth but with armor, and that's that's like I can't deal with that. That's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, you you shouldn't have vertical movement and a shield. You know, I don't like... know what it is with moths, but they love um, <laughs> flying towards my face with great speed and then getting stuck between my glasses and my face. Oh no. Mm. All the time. All the time. Horrendous. I was sitting in bed and I was, saw this moth like come through my blind and it was like really slowly hovering towards me. I was like, you're right, mate. Oh, <laughs> you're still you're still coming. Oh, you're oh. right. Oh. And then it flew into my eye and I was like, thanks. <laughs> Amy doesn't have great luck with moths in general. I really don't. I will just say. She has incinerated like three of yeah, them. Yeah, one of them was in your <laughs> oven, right? They just yeah. killed they just kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> this that once me and Ollie were like sitting on the sofa, like playing games or whatever, and then we hear like this scream from the kitchen, <laughs> and I go in. I'm like, oh my god, what's wrong? And Amy's like, I opened an oven and a moth flew in. <laughs> 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 she just shut him in there. <laughs> I like, opened the door and it got like sucked in. I was like, no. <laughs> So you closed the door? No, <laughs> it, I couldn't find it. I didn't know where it went. So you're like, oh, well, he lives in there now and dies in there. <laughs> he, he likes the light. It's fine. I like, left the door open and he wouldn't come out. I was like, mate. I love the idea that Amy is like incredibly specifically cursed to both attract moths and then make them commit seppuku. Like, <laughs> it's such a specific brand of like... <laughs> And then the <laughs> second time I had my candle on in my room and this moth was like, oh, I'm going to take a dip. And then it like gets stuck in the wax and then it like forever oh, is like encapsulated Aww. in the wax. 
And then another time, one I was in the shower and one of them flew out from behind my shampoo bottle. I dropped the shampoo <laughs> bottle and then the moth got stuck to me because I was wet. And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> it was a terrible time. Oh God, you live in a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> like because the the funniest thing about this to me is that like in contrast, I don't think I've seen a single moth since we moved here. <laughs> well, good for you. I, do they really not like Amy, or do they really like Amy? I can't, I can't tell which one it is. So you know, <laughs> so you know those plants, those like jug plants that have the water in the bottom. It's like that weird stomach acid thing. Like bugs oh, fucking yeah. love what? that shit, and then they like fall in and die. I'm, I'm not familiar with that. What's stomach acid? It's not stomach acid. They're like a predatory plant, like you a know. Like a Venus, plant. Yeah, pitcher plant. Like that a one. Venus flytrap is, oh, but they're like right. a different kind. That's me, but with moths and I don't <laughs> want to eat them. Mm. <laughs> well, um, on that delightful note of Amy the pitcher plant, um, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to wrap this one here because it's been 35 minutes of just sheer mania. <laughs> uh, and I think everybody could do with like just five minutes of, of um, just not. Just, just quiet <laughs> just, time. Just quiet time. Yeah, I've still got to finish my energy drink. I'd do that oh no <laughs> um so uh thanks very much for uh listening to this everybody um if you're watching this on our youtube channel then please like and subscribe and leave a comment um what, what other manic topics <laughs> i was gonna do some kind of call to action but i suppose all the comments are gonna be uh judgment for amy's crimes look, um, i don't <laughs> look at amy the moth murderer <laughs> if i get put away for manslaughter I'm coming after you, Jenny. Moth slaughter. Manslaughter of moths. Um, yeah. uh, I don't it's... intend to do it. <laughs> it's fine. Mothman will come soon and collect his penance. No. <laughs> you can find us on Twitter at SWizzico and on Instagram at the Shrieking Wizico. And if you want to hear what the characters of High Hopes Are Rolls have to say for themselves, um, you can find them on highhopesthereolls.tumblr.com. If you made it all the way through this episode, thank you very well much. Wow. Yeah, what a hike yeah. it's been. Jesus. Well done. Woo! Woo. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.